Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about five important factors that have a tremendous effect on your Wi Fi speed. Basically, these factors are determining the Wi Fi speed that you're experiencing right now, either if it is good or bad. Number one, sometimes people wrongly accuse their Wi Fi router of causing slow speeds when the issue is actually something else. The first and most important device that dictates my Wi Fi speed is obviously my wireless router or access point, which provides and broadcasts the wireless signals. Essentially, the Wi Fi speed that I will experience in this network will not exceed the capabilities of this device. But that's only one side of the story because we need to keep in mind that as much as the wireless router is essential for Wi Fi speed, the wireless client, such as a smartphone or laptop, is important too. Even if we have the fastest wireless router in the world, if the client is old and slow, it becomes the bottleneck and I won't be able to take full advantage of my wireless router's speed when using this client. I have seen people purchase a new Wi-Fi system to improve the speed, but then they realized that their issue was with the old and slow client, not the router. So it is best to make sure the clients and the Wi-Fi router are using more or less the same Wi-Fi technology. Number 2. The stronger the signal, obviously the faster the speed. So if I'm here and I run a speed test where my Wi-Fi connection is strong, I'll see good results. However, if I'm here, obviously I'm not gonna see good results because the signal is weak and so is the speed. The signal strength weakens as we get further away from the Wi-Fi source and also when some sort of obstacle, maybe a brick wall is blocking the signal. But this is expected behavior and doesn't necessarily mean there is something wrong with the Wi-Fi router. Instead, I need to make sure I understand it so I can design my network accordingly. For example, maybe the Wi-Fi router needs to be relocated or maybe I need to have a secondary node. I have already made some videos about best practices for designing a reliable Wi-Fi network. I will link them in the video description in case you are interested. Number 3. Wi-Fi is half duplex and not full duplex. An Ethernet connection, which is a wired network connection, is capable of operating in full duplex mode, allowing data to be sent and received simultaneously. However, that is not the case with Wi-Fi as it operates in half duplex mode. As you might have guessed by now, half duplex means that these two devices cannot send and receive at the same time. They have to do it one at a time, otherwise they can collide with each other. The reason why Ethernet can be full duplex but Wi-Fi is only half duplex is because Ethernet has dedicated wires for transmit and dedicated wires for receive, allowing them to send and receive simultaneously. In contrast, a wireless network usually operates on a single channel for both sending and receiving, which is why it is half duplex. Think of it like the way a walkie-talkie works. You can only talk or listen. You cannot do both at the same time. This is essentially how a wireless network works using a single channel. The half duplex nature of Wi Fi obviously has a negative effect on their speed. And this is one of the reasons why when you run a Wi-Fi speed test, your actual speed is almost always less than your connection link speed. Number 4. Interference and Noise now, there are situations where the signal strength might be good and I'm certain that the devices on my Wi-Fi are not interfering with each other due to the half duplex nature of Wi-Fi allowing only one device to transmit at a time. However, another source of wireless signals could interfere with my Wi-Fi. This interference may come from a neighboring Wi-Fi network broadcasting on the same channel as mine or even a non-Wi-Fi signal such as a microwave oven or a cordless phone. In these situations, one possible outcome of interference could be a slow connection. This is because each dropped packet during the interference has to be retransmitted until it is finally successful, resulting in tons of extra work and making the quality of the connection poor and slow. Number 5. Wi-Fi is a shared medium. 
Even if this router is capable of providing a certain speed in the real world, it doesn't mean every device on this Wi-Fi can have this much speed available all the time, as it will be shared between all of them. For example, if there are 10 client devices on this network and let's say they're all downloading at the same time, each one can use only a tenth of the available speed. So obviously if I run a speed test on this device, it can only reach a fraction of the total speed. I might think there's something wrong with my Wi-Fi even though there isn't because this is expected behavior as Wi-Fi is a shared medium and more devices are connected and using the Wi-Fi the slower the network gets for each device. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.